Hey guys, welcome to another Form Affinity video. Uh, today we're looking at the brand new version 1.7 My Config Pro. So there's a lot of updates in this. I will walk you guys through uh, sort of the bigger stuff first, more of the eye candy stuff, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of the little usability stuff that I've added. So diving right in, you can see the shelf has changed quite a bit. Um, the the button size is different. Uh, we also have these guys here, these three new things. So this is just your open, open a Blender file um, and save as right here. And then of course you can still use Control S to save. Uh, but the big guy here is low desired shelf. So right now it's basically set on default to your modeling and uh, polygon shelf as you would have in Maya. And then you got your live symmetry over stuff over here. If we go to this drop down, you can see we can load shelves now. So this is all dynamic. So I can go here and load NURBS and we see that. Load rendering, and we've got all these rendering icons. So, you know, stuff like um, the hypershade, add a light, um, these are all your various lights, camera, uh, render scene, show hide, render view. And then we have effects. So you can add effects here. And you'll notice these two guys here stay the same regardless of what shelf you're on. So instead of having to go to File, Open, um, you can just grab it right here. So that's pretty cool. Next we have the newly formatted uh, left side panel. So some of the icons have changed. These are still your subsurf stuff. Uh, it's just that the icons have changed. So if I select this, you can see those are all doing the same thing. This guy here, if I go into uh, my move tool, for instance, I can change the size here. But now I also have this button to reset it down to 75, which is the default. So that's a really nice update. And that, of course, works on all of your uh, transform widgets. Next, we've got toggle show statistics. So that'll just toggle that on and off for you there. This is your show 3D cursor. And then, of course, if your 3D cursor is way out somewhere, you can set it back to the middle with this guy. These are all essentially the same. Uh, we have a little bit of different stuff going on here, uh, but essentially the same. And then you've got, you see these um, six buttons down here. Those are set to the Alt B hotkey and will change your uh, theme. So you can see down below it says what theme I'm on. So here's a Moto theme, Blender Dark theme, a white background theme, good for um, doing like sketch work stuff. And then speaking of sketch work, here's SketchUp theme. And then back to Maya Gradient theme. So you can use the Alt B hotkey, or you can just click on these here. And it goes in that same order. So that's very cool. Um, and that was also a feature request, so I tried to implement that. Next we have the Cam Tools 2.0. So some of these buttons are the same. We've got lock camera to view, um, view camera. If I go into lock camera to view, I can rotate around using the Alt left mouse button. If I take that off, you'll see I just come out when I use Alt left mouse button. So that's a good way to animate the camera while you're looking through it. Um, 
And then we've got these guys. So um, whereas before there was no way to really tell what, whether this was turned on, now I've got it set to a toggle. So showing you guys the previous version, Cam Tools 1.0, you'll see um, I can lock those transforms here, but you have no idea whether they're locked and you can only hit two buttons to, you know, lock it and unlock it. And essentially you don't know kind of what's going on and you can't do individual. So now in the new version, I can lock the camera. It'll tell me, please select camera first. So I'll select the camera. I can lock all of them here and unlock. And it shows me all, all the transforms that are locked. I can lock uh, all the uh, location, rotation, and scale individually. Or I can just go in here and lock, you know, rotation Y, for instance, or rotation Z. Um, just note that if you turn one of these on and then you click this button, it's going to toggle that. So you have to, you know, click, click it again to get them all if that's what you're wanting. Okay, so that's a way better cam tools feature in there. Uh, I think that'll uh, be a big improvement for you guys. Uh, next, if we go into uh, the right click activated marking menu, you'll see I've got two new buttons here for you. We have an object selected. This one, uh, actually, let me make a duplicate of this cube so I can show you the difference. Um, so this button will display the wireframe mode, wireframe on shaded mode for the individual object that you have selected. And it's a toggle, so you know if it's blue that it's turned on. And then if you just wanna do it for all of the objects in the scene, just click this one and you see how it turns even the unselected objects for wireframe on shaded on. So that's a really cool feature. It was also a feature request that I was able to implement. Okay, next we have an update to the pivot tool. Um, when you're using it to adjust the origin of the object. So if we come here and select our move tool and then hit D to adjust the origin, we can hit the V key now and you'll see that snapping is turned on and it's set to vertex automatically. And now holding the circle rather than the arrows, we can just snap to whichever vertex we like um, and just quickly change where the object's origin is at. So once again, that's uh, D is the toggle for that, D is in dog, and V will set the pivot automatically to vertex. So if I go to increment, turn that off, and then hit V, you'll see that all changes, and I can move that and snap it to whichever vertex I like. So that's really cool. Okay, so now getting into some of the usability features that have been added. Um, before, when we were using uh, Alt to tumble, and then when you would switch over to scroll to zoom in and out, uh, you'd have to release the Alt key and, or, and repress it in order to do that. So that's now been changed to where, uh, regardless of whether you're scrolling, draggling, uh, zooming with the right mouse button, or using the scroll wheel, uh, you can just hold on to Alt the entire time. Okay, another thing we've added is if I go in here and create, actually let me use this. Go in here and create a NURB circle. Go into edit mode. Um, focus is now set for those guys. I think what I want is surface circle. 
Um, if you hit Control W, F was set to make segment. So that's been changed now to allow for our focus on selection. So that's really helpful if you're working with the curves surfaces. Another thing we have is if I add a grease pencil asset, we can now tumble around this object when we are in draw mode. So using Alt left mouse button. And then if you want to create a straight line that's been changed to Control Alt left mouse button. One little hiccup to note, you guys, if you delete an object, you'll notice that the cam tools goes away. Just re-click on your camera and it'll come right back. So I just want to give you a heads up. So that's the bulk of the updates for this version. I um, hope you guys like all the new features. And if you're in animation, we're releasing a brand new animation tier of my config pro, which will have even more features. Uh, including an extra additional animation shelf, um, some other stuff going on, a pie menu, etc. So be sure to look for that coming out very soon. And thank you guys so much for the support, the feedback, the suggestions on features, etc. That's really helped to make this version come together. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think. And we will see you next time. Take care.